we've started recording for the YouTubies. You're all being surveilled. Watch out. Yeah, no spoilers. We got to start over. All right, hang on. Y'all want to see the game, I presume. Yeah, say hello to the fans at home. I'm so excited, though. Dare to play. Ugh, Lonnie really hit that. You think she did that in one take, too? She's a professional. They saw the ring once, and they're like, that's it. That's our game. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, Ooh. my desk. Go ahead Ooh. and poke around. If you want to know the particulars hmm. of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. This is not... First of all, this isn't even Lonnie's voice. Oh. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, that one's Lonnie. Mm-hmm. That, that's not Lonnie. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's based on the ring. I don't even know. I hope they at least saw the Japanese version. I haven't seen it. She's got all sorts of nonsense. She's got this. Boat. Lawnmower in the background. Hmm. Yeah, sorry. I also don't like mouth noises. I should know. After a string of tough mysteries, I've decided it's time to take a break to do it's a not based scene. on the ring. I'm taking PG Krollmeister up on his but the creators did say they were inspired by the ring and the grudge, Kyoto, the two Japanese the movies they've heard of, English, I presume. And my nights with Bess and George exploring the sights, fashion, history and nightlife of downtown Kyoto. From what I hear, the inn I'm staying at is known as one of the scariest places in the city. Fun. See, Nancy sure invites the drama. Say that. I might have to poke around a little to see what's really going on at the Riacon Hie. Dog shampoos? I was thinking about that too. I'm like, are we... We're on the second floor. Canonically, we're on the second floor. And yet, I can see the driveway right there. But I'm also looking over at what appears to be a garage over here. So, like, what kind of slant are we on right now? The leveling does not work. There was a crossover movie of The Grudge and The Ring. I think that's actually this game, Basement Bats. I think that's actually <laughs> what we're playing right now. Yeah, but like... the This perspective makes it seem like we're on the first floor, you know what I'm saying? And this perspective makes it seem like we're on the second floor. What's going on here? This is the mystery we need to solve. Anyways. <laughs> Maybe House on Hill. That's true. All right, y'all ready to be spookified? Get ready for some some accents. Hi, I have a reservation under Nancy Drew. Do you believe me now? Oh, oh son, it only fell. It did not. You know better. Oh, Goose is here now. I'm very sorry. She... The side eye. just a little upset. She does not want her here. Tell her to go. Now. What was that about? Why is she upset? <laughs> Goose is here Please, for the racism. don't worry about that. Here. This is your room key. Yeah, so for anyone who doesn't know, uh, I forget the name of this character, but this character is the only one who's played by an Asian American voice actress. The rest of them are all uh, white people. <laughs> so Thanks. the room is on the second floor. I've and they they go for it. Some of them out. really go for Please. it. Please, my name is Miwako. Come to me if there's Miwako. anything you need. This cat, though, this cat is innocent. This cat did nothing wrong. Is that a robotic cat? Yeah, Suki! Isn't she the greatest? Lentalo got her for me. 
I've wanted my own pet cat for forever, but I can't have one at the Ryokan. That cat has seen things. I came into work one day, and there she was, right next to the sweetest note from Lentaro. I've never seen a robotic cat before. What does it do? She's not on it. She's Suki. It's okay. She didn't mean it. Actually, she Don't misgender really the do cat, Nancy. Sense. But oh wait, I just learned something neat. Suki, tate. <laughs> Did my game freeze? Okay, no, my game, <laughs> my game didn't freeze. Oh, that's great. That's all so I remember great. right now. But she can do a lot more. I should figure out what the rest of the commands are. Come to think of it. Although, to be honest, it's a little more believable if she just does what she wants. What she wants? Does she have autonomy in there? What is a Ryokan? Nancy, please. Google is a thing. Your grandmother seemed very upset about the portrait breaking. Nancy, please. It's no big deal. She thinks it's a bad sign that the portrait fell from the wall. Why is that? It's a very special portrait. It's one of the two remaining images of my mother, and it was taken shortly before... Mm. It's one of my grandmother's favorite portraits. Before she was cast in the ring. <laughs> Nancy, no! Nancy is particularly insensitive in this game, also, from what I remember. What happened to your mother? I shouldn't bother you with our problems, Nancy. Please, it is very nice Nancy! outside, a perfect time to relax and enjoy your surroundings. My god, we've been here for two seconds. Hi, Madison, hello. We've been here for two seconds and we are already destroying the vibe hello nancy you made it how was your ride it was pretty good what the meme xd did your nut allergy go away i have done so much shopping that was quick that was like a week crazy i've never seen so many people it's totally sold out you sound pretty excited well yeah Best be like kind of hard not to be here i don't even know where to start have you ever had mochi it's a revelation. Nancy. Oh, I do I'm love mochi. Kidding. And the shopping. Conference me in already. Oh, yeah. Did that do it? No? Okay. No, hit the... No, the... You do it then. We all on? Yes. Yep. Why is that so hard? It so isn't. Anyway, what's your story? These cousins you? at it again. I'm still getting settled in, but I'll be out to see you guys soon. How's the... Hi, Mark. You're staying at? Ryukon, it's great. A little strange, though. When I was checking in, a picture fell off the wall, and everyone was really weird about it. Huh. Especially me, because oh, no. I asked Our what happened to, to her dead mom. Second. Gotta go. See you, Nancy. Bye. Why is Nancy staying at a different place than her friends, though? Like, is that not shady? Is there drama? I think there's drama. Oh, did you do a food challenge today? What the meme? Hi, Laffy Taffy. I guess it's closer to where she's teaching. But still, you would think her friends would want to stay with her. I like to think there's drama. I'm immediately lost. Immediately lost in this haunted hotel. I need a key to open this door. <laughs> Locked. Imagine this late at night. I need a key to open this door. Just, Locked. just someone, just someone touching your doorknob. Hey, don't take that out of context. Hang on, there's a boy out here. I know it. Hang on, there's supposed to be a boy here. Oh, we gotta find him. He's in the walls or something. Go find the boy. Oh no. Oh no. Like a maze. Oh, that is text. All right. Stuff about a ghost and samurai. Cool, that's it's too early for me. Yeah, it's the boy in the wall. That's so right. I didn't think about that. There we go. Here we go. Whoa, hang on. Man only right now. 
What do you mean? The bass. The blue banner means the bass are for men. The red banner means women only. I don't know why we don't mention this at the front desk. This is useful information. Anyway, I'm Rentaro. So you can only I'm be clean every other day. Yeah, the accent, rough. The accent. He's going for it. He's committed to his role. I'll have to wait until later. <laughs> he said a gig's a gig. <laughs> Which I don't know if that applies in this situation. But the actor said a gig's a gig. <laughs> Hi again. I'm Rentaro. It's Oof. nice to meet you, official. Oof. So, um, you're still here. That's surprising. I'm Nancy. What oh, do you hi, mean, Chloe. surprising? Did I say that? Whoops. <laughs> so, you're American. From New York City? No, a place called River Heights. It's in... Oh, okay. He be like... That's one of the places I always wanted to go. I mean, you'd have to be crazy to live there. But on the other hand, you'd have to be crazy not to live there. It's one of those, um, uh, unwinnables. Do you work here? Technically. It's a complicated thing we've got going on. I'm sort of like I know. a handyman. Where is here. River Heights? So, it always gave me I Illinois vibes. Getting to know you, or are you going to be like all of the rest? What do all of the rest do? Get spooked in the middle of the night? Pack their bags and never Well, he's come not back. really manifesting Even success, is he? To see the ghosts. <gasps> I shouldn't be telling you this. Oh, well, already did. <laughs> if you see Takaido, this conversation never happened. Ghosts? What ghosts? We got one of those, um, haunted hotspot guides. So we get a lot of ghost hunters Zach here. Baggins? And that's always a treat. Because Zach totally Baggins? Not Zachary Baggins? So, people think this place is haunted? Well, some people think... He's kind of dressed like Zach haunted. Baggins. Honestly. Kind of like some people think the moon landing was faked. And some people like adult contemporary. Don't be one of those people. You like puzzles? I guess you could say that. Love. I figured you're going to love this. It's oh. called a nanogram. The accent was rough on What's that, that one. It's just another example of how awesome numbers are. Letters are cool and all, but they just make words. I mean, get with the game, letters. Numbers, on the other hand, get a few handfuls of those, and you can make it's a, a big bridge, brick of text for you to listen to. Space, or express the makeup of our genetic code, or, or they can make a neat picture. Okay. Take a look in here. All you need to do is look this over and finish the pattern. And when you're done, picture! The thing is, here, the script is fun. The voice acting Bring totally takes me out of it. And I'll give you something better. Sure. And his little animations? I would love him. I wish I could love him. And there are instructions inside. I love in Sudoku though. Stuck. All right. I'll let you go. Bye. Non-base 10 number systems? What does that mean? Am I dumb? Is my mind going to be blown when I find out about non-base number systems? I should listen in. Those strange sounds and the pounding and the screaming at all hours of the night, waking up my family, scaring the children half to death. If you ask me, this real can needs to be closed down. I like binary code. Um, very sorry. Hitting this German accent as well. This is unacceptable. I want my money back and I want a car sent immediately to take us anywhere else. Hexadecimal, I don't know. You lost me there. They got a real international cast, for sure. At least I, you would hope so. All right, should we do a, a nonogram together? Oh, so this is like the the thingy thing we were doing in Thornton Hall. Basically. Two, one. Using the number cues, fill in the blocks to create a picture. What are the two ones? The next square must also be filled in. So it must be like a group of two together. Okay. I see, I see. Okay, okay. 
Ah, I keep backing out of this. All right, e this seems, I can do this. Ugh, love a puzzle. Love a good puzzle. Um, let's do, can I not exit out? Okay. Um, hmm, that one has to be like that. And then, one, one. Oh, I already fucked it up. Oh, no, I didn't. That's fine. One, 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 two, one. Two, one, and then one, three. Does Nancy tell you when you got it right? Let me see. One, three, two, one, 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 five, one. The three and one on the far right is wrong. Okay. How so? Like that? Yeah, I have a group of three here. I don't know if that really changes it. It feels like it's still the same. One, 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 two, one, one, three. But she hasn't said anything. I'm suspicious. Oh, there's another page? Okay, it doesn't reset. I don't think I have a second page. Oh, well, that's why how I had it before. Two, one. Okay, I see. So it has to be one and then a three, two and then a one. Okay, one, 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 and then that's miss. Now that's missing one. I did it. There we go. Okay, we did it. We got there. Yeah, I I assumed Nancy would tell me when I was right. All right, don't worry. We got there. We did it. We got a lot of these things to do, so we got to get on it. I finished the nanograms puzzle. Awesome! Nice job! What do you think? Eh. I've got eh. something better. You know it, you love it! The original! Sudoku! Woo! Oh, I've played that before. Great! Love Great. Sudoku. I've got some good ones for you here. Here you go. Bring it back if you want more. I love, sometimes I love to just like have a long video essay on in the background and play some Sudoku online. Ugh, now that's my idea of a good time. Oh, that's nice. A nice little Japanese garden at your college. I could get down with that. All right, I'm let's ask for more nonograms, nonograms too. Here you go. Yeah, the L's and the R's are like so stereotypical. Um, let's see. Is that the portrait from the lobby? Yeah, I'm reframing it. Although it's way harder to Ooh, do it pick cross. It Here, it's got right that on my phone. Strange backing. Would you like some help? Have at it. This thing is officially making me nuts. The tools you'll need are near the frame. Nice. It looks like I need to find a way to make sure none of the wires are crossing. Uh, should we do this? Should we do this now? Oof. This seems hard. This is this pick cross 3D? <laughs> this feels like pick cross 3D. This requires you to think in portals. For sure. My god. I don't know if it can be done. <laughs> it can be done. The wires do be crossing. 
I think you probably need this a little out of the way. I mean, just get a new frame at this point. Am I... Am I right or am I right? <laughs> you know? I just, like, throw in the towel. Do what you gotta do. This is not... This can't be... This can't be worth it. Well, now that's crossing. Uh, uh. This is hateful. We are playing a spooky game. And this is the spookiest part. <laughs> this puzzle, I believe, is the spookiest part. Um, okay, it seems like we're making progress, though. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> Who here is really scared? So I'm really scared. Ooh, this this part's fucking me up. I don't know how you separate these. Oh no, that's crossing. That's also cross. Okay, okay. We have that part. <laughs> that part. <laughs> um. Yeah, which, what are the ones that are connected the most? Let me see. Yeah, like these guys. For sure, are the problem childs? Childs? Not the ceremonial drumming. Okay. Feels like it's leading up to my execution. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you all are must be screaming. <laughs> screaming at me, because I'm not doing what y'all would do. Thumping was Goose. Goose is not that um, rhythmic. Is it stressful to do puzzles in front of a bunch of people watching and judging? Judging? Nah, I'm chilling. It's probably more stressful for the people <laughs> who um, wish that I had solved it already. To be honest, ask me in uh, ten minutes. Then it'll probably be stressful. Right now, I'm chilling. But I'm 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 here for a good time. Thank you, Laffy Taffy. Well, we got them all on the wall, and they clearly can't all do that. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I'm, I'm more thinking, how the hell is this supposed to be done? I'm with you, Madison. I don't know. Ugh. I mean, I get the idea of putting the ones that have the most connectedness in the corner, but... <sighs> Can we reset? Should I reset? Because, like, what even? Hmm. Did we reset? I'm very close. Well, too late. <laughs> it did it reset or no? I can't even tell if it reset, honestly. Um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. 
Uh, let's do this guy. I think it did. I think it did reset. This guy here. This guy here. Don't think so? All right. Y'all don't need to... We don't need a backseat just yet. I'm, I'm figuring it out. Don't worry about me. Let's see. Um... That's fucking it up. What is this connected to? Backseat command when? That's true. I need to I need to get on that. That's not anybody else's bad. That's my bad. Okay. It feels like we're getting somewhere. Um this though. This won't work. That's true. I don't, um, well, it's Nightbot Twitch. I also don't have, like, I don't run this through Streamlabs, so I feel like that's, like, what I see all the, all the cool Twitch streamers <laughs> use. Um, thank you, Dog Shampoos. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not offended by anybody backseating. Don't don't you worry. But I can I can figure it out. I'm good so far. I appreciate it though. I don't like it though. Stream elements. I I said stream labs, didn't I? I get those two mixed up in my head. I feel like what I have going on over here is like not far off. No. But to be honest, everything else is going wrong, so maybe I should reevaluate this. Oh. All right, the spooky drums are back. It feels like I'm close, but then again, it's like, you can't even really see what's overlapping at a certain point. Music's getting very scary, though. Oh? Oh? That feels like something. Okay. Um... I got the backing off the portrait. Nice job. There we go. We did it. We did it. See, y'all don't need to worry. I got there. Certificate of Spiritual Remover. This is to certify the Ryokan Hie. Is that how you pronounce it? By Savannah Woodham. From the previous game. What's this? Oh, here we go. Has been cleansed of all malevolent, disruptive, or mischievous spirits, and upon this day is considered fit only for human habitation. How much did this cost, though? That's the real question. I should hold on to this article. Oh, this article. This is some fuckery. Hi. Um. Do you know anything about the certificate behind the portrait? Who's Savannah Woodham? She was an investigator. She helped out with the investigation after Kasumi died. Yeah. Oh, an hold on to this. This certificate Family heirloom. seems a little less than official. She was more it's of a beautiful a certificate, Nancy. investigator. I don't really believe in that stuff personally, but Takai wanted her here. Why did Takai want a paranormal investigator? I've known Takai since I was a kid. And let me tell you this from experience. It is impossible to guess what she's thinking or why she does and uh, what she does. What do you mean? Oh, 
I'm sure you'll find out. Sure. Sounds fun. Can you translate this for me? Sure. No. Put this back where you got it. You saw me get it. All right, whatever. Hello. What are you building there? Oh, this. This is the Rentaro 4000. You don't want to know what the Rentaro 4000 is. What's it going to be? <laughs> you don't want to know. A robotic dog. Or maybe just a robotic dog's leg. Oh. I'll be honest. I, I have no dog. idea how wrong these things take to build. But then again, a dog's leg There's is this not TikTok a account that has like four robotic dogs from so the, the early 2000s. And they're so cute. Is it going to be a gift for me, I would definitely lose oh, interest definitely. if I got one myself, my but, muse, but she's they're such robotic. a vibe. Not that you think she is. Bring back the eye dog. <sighs> and this is why I work with machines. Who's Cam? Totally oblivious to awkwardness. All right. I'll let, I'll you, let go. you go. Catch you around. Yeah, I mean, I had an eye dog, which I mean, if th that doesn't count as a robotic dog, I don't know what does, honestly. But this TikTok account has like four. They're like from Japan too, full on robotic dogs, and they're so cute. Speaking of robotic dogs, the lovely Kimbernickel has requested a goose cam. There he is. <laughs> Can you see any of his features right now? He is just a blob. I, I told him to come here and he just blankly stared at me. He said, that's a no. That is a no, ma'am. <laughs> Yeah, he's just a ghostly shadow in the corner right now. I really wish y'all could see him better because he's got like Greek yogurt over his face. Yeah, he's just he's literally just like a Rorschach test. Like, what do you see when you see Goose? <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's it's 7:30. It's his bedtime. Oh. Oh. There we go. There's some movement. <laughs> this is turning out to be a very exciting goose cam tonight. He really will just like lean off the bed if I let him and fall off and hit his head. You have to be very careful. He has no spatial awareness. So folks, so you know, you get what you pay for. <laughs> He's not having it. I mean, it basically is his bed. It's the guest bed. So he sleeps on it more than any person has. Thank you. I'm glad everyone likes my blanket burrito. We love a, co a cozy time. Best have 500 points of your life, Kimpernickel. He's, he's bringing the action. Oops, that's not. Can I please? Okay, thank you. <laughs> please. There we go. Now we're at the right screen. Okay, back to... <laughs> back to the ghost. Okay, I think we have to go get lessons from Grandma to progress the day. I don't remember where that is. Yes, I have iTunes because um, I was trying to download some Mary-Kate and Ashley movies and it's very hard to find them on streaming. <laughs> I had no choice, okay? Build my desktop wallpaper in The Sims. That sounds very ambitious. I don't know if I'm capable of doing such a thing. I would love that though. All right, where is she? Do I just keep going this way? No, that's not right. She's somewhere in here. I gotta find her. Mm, 
No. My god. The maze, I tell ya. Alright, here I will accept some backseat gaming if y'all can tell me where the grandma is. Just so I can find her. Yeah, dog shampoos, go ahead. Go ahead. I love that for you. I just passed the room. Oh, well, who knows when that was. These very pixelated wall textures. Bottom hallway, bottom, bottom floor hallway to the right of the desk, all the way back on the right. Okay. I know my directions. Like here. Oh, the cultural room where there'll be a lot of cultural sensitivity. Nanasi san, please sit. It Oof. is a pleasure to meet you, Parapali. I am sorry for the way I behaved when you this first arrived. It was very impolite. Please forgive me. Of course, don't worry. It's nice to meet you as well. There's two that old white women kind of you chatting it up. <laughs> I hit must myself always worry with my straw. about the guests who stay with us, especially now. <laughs> Thanks to me. You, you nailed it. Especially now. Oof. Are you here for a lesson today? We're going to keep the talking with grandma, especially to a minimum. Yes. Today, you will be learning for katakana obvious reasons. to the outsider. Katakana always looks far more difficult to learn than it is. You just need to be patient, and you need to learn to see more than you are used to seeing. There is a book to help in the chest. Paractus, until it looks There's like There's not that many syllables in that word. <sighs> not just some lines. What do you mean? Although there are many nanities in the world, your name belongs to only you. It has yeah, Blizzard in the City 98. It changes the vibe when you learn that information, doesn't it? What you see on the paper is not just a word. It is you. All right, let's do this. I remember this being a nauseating part of the game, but we'll, we'll do it. All right, but I am an expert, so I anticipate this going perfectly. Nope, that doesn't Oh, look come right. on. Better start again. Come on. What's wrong with that? All right, Nancy, don't be so picky. <laughs> My mouse moved because I just heard the in this game. Oh, the mega Sudoku? Yeah, we're going to have to do that too. Whoops. Another I even do that one. Well, that's what the extra paper's for. Yeah, I think I think they really thought they were doing something with this game and they didn't quite get there. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy the spooky drums. Oh, okay, we got past that part. Nike swoosh. Music is crazy. All right. I feel like I'm getting quiet because I'm very focused on this. Ugh. Ugh. It's stressful. I'm supposed to be on vacation. Why am I doing this? Well... I guess I should be educating myself in the culture. All right, calm down, Ashley. <laughs> Stop complaining about participating in the culture. Ooh. Ooh. That was bad. Very well done, Ugh, Nancy. I was not breathing. I was not this breathing that entire time. This is the best I've ever seen from a new student. <laughs> I knew you could do this well. Dexafeed, I believe it. Leave this to dry, and I'll have it brought to your room to remind you of your success. 
I believe it. That that thing is finicky. It's like the the haunted mansion game where you have to do the tangram and you have to get it so precise. Um, should we get a death scene? Can you translate this article for me? I'd be happy to, Nancy san <laughs> Why would you give me this? Put it back where it goes now. Oh, no death scene. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought she murdered us. I guess I remembered wrong. Anyways. I'll talk to you later. Come again. Maybe it's someone else. Or maybe it's if we ask a second time. Miwako does. All right. Let's get Miwako to murder us. Why not? Let's show her a picture of her dead mother and see how she reacts. <laughs> Sick prank gone wrong. Oh, hello, Nancy-san. That guest seemed pretty upset. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. Oh, I forgot about. about that. Trust me. I see a lot at this desk, and one thing never changes. Travel is disorienting. It's so very easy to get upset when you're far from home. That's why we try to make things as comfortable as possible. I'll save. I'll save. Ooh, no, not leave. I will save. Also, hang on. Um, My thing was... My Twitch notifications were scrolled down. Okay, there we go. We're back. Hang on. There we go. We're back. We're going to ask about her dead mom. Don't worry. I found We're getting an there. Article. Can you tell me what it says? Oh, the robot cat will sure. kill us by the end of tonight. Where did you get this? You have no right to have this. <laughs> That's fair. Good news. At least it was Miyoko who caught you and not some creepy ghost. The bad news. What do you mean Miyoko's still in her room right now? That, <laughs> that can't be... <laughs> Miwako's been dead for 40 years. Oh, hello, Nancy-san. And that stays that as a chat option the whole upset. game. Oh, it's nothing so you can accidentally about. press that and Trust get a game me. over whenever you want. I see a lot at this desk, and one thing never changes. Travel is disorienting. It's so very easy to get upset when you're far from home. Cat. That's why we try to make things as comfortable as possible. I saw a certificate certifying that the Ryokan was cleansed of all ghosts and spirits. Can you tell me about that? What? That's this is my no impression sense. of the cat. That, that seems sort of silly. A certificate? So you don't know anything about it? No. And where exactly did you find this certificate? Behind the portrait I helped Rentaro repair. Maybe you should stay away from what isn't yours. And maybe he <laughs> should have the sense to know what is a family matter. <laughs> I have to get back to work now. I'm just entertaining myself. <laughs> I'm just entertaining myself. Oh yeah, I I remember the danger on Deception Island death scene. I I was about to say I killed myself so many times. I got a game over so many times as a child doing that. Anyways, what's our room number? I don't remember what our room is. That's probably a good thing to know. Um, room 24. Okay, there we go. Yeah. 21. Can you do some for me? 25. Locked. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming on, but I'm not sneezing. I'm not the worst. Me, an empath, sensing we're upstairs right now. Ooh, orchid. Love an orchid. I might be able to use this. Okay. That's true. Still have to sneeze. Is this Hie? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Ugh, I still... It's like right up in my nose. Oh, you can't... You have a checklist in this game. I just haven't been doing it. Check. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> that was Papyrus font. I just clocked that. Y'all are so right. Check. Haven't done Ugh, that. That was building up for a while. Thank you. Still have to do that. Oh, we haven't done the Sudoku done. that we got. Haven't done that. The music is getting real haven't spooky though. That. Can't check that off yet. Get a closer look at the cat. Did that. All right. All right. Oh, I love this random child. Dear teacher, thank you. 
Thank you for teaching us English. You were the best teacher ever. We'll miss you. All right. All right. Let's let's get these kids educated. Oh, do we not have their homework yet? Oh no. It's probably too early, right? Time to grade some papers. Oh, okay. Um Let's just I'm gonna build them up, you know? Wait. Come on. No, no, no. No! Click. Click. Why am I struggling? <laughs> no! Does it work with the other ones? How did I do it with the first? did that one. Well, I guess I'm not meant to grade papers. Well. <laughs> Come on. Grade some papers, Nancy. Oops, already stamped oh, that one. This way. All right, there we go. You're nailing it, kid. Sakura, I had a friend um in high school who was named Sakura. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I had a friend in high school named Sakura, and that means cherry blossom in Japanese. Dan just came home. You can't tell. Little fun fact for you. And we called her Saki for short. Which means a different thing in Japanese. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Anyways, I think I nailed that. Uh... Alright, I don't need instructions on Sudoku. I got this one. Okay. But the thing is, you can't do like the little notes. Like little notes in the corners on these and that's like the key to doing sudoku whoa, 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 whoa. that's okay well i'm good enough i don't need the notes i don't need to rely on that one two three four 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 could go anywhere up here um two three four where'd the music go Seven. Can we fill anything else in here? Nine. No, doesn't seem like it can just yet. All right. One. Two. Two, four, and seven. Two, four, and s Nope, no, that's not. That's not what I meant. Seven. And then two and four go here. Two goes here. Four goes here. The raccoon ate the music. I guess so. I guess so. It adds to the intensity. Two. Oh, here comes the spooky music. There we go. Boos, you scared me. You're loud. One, two, three. Scared me more than the ghosts. Five, seven, nine. Five goes here. And seven and nine. See, if I was taking notes, I'd be putting a little seven, nine, seven, nine there, but we can't do that on this version, but that's fine. That's fine. Five can also go here. Um, And a five can go here. And then two goes here. Four goes here. This also, because I do them online, I'm spoiled and they have auto check on it. So I'm going to fuck one of these up and it's going to ruin the whole thing. And that's the tough part about Sudoku that I normally don't deal with because I play on e <laughs> not easy mode, but I play with auto check, which effectively does make it easy mode. Um, what are some other ones?
Honestly, the raccoon is my gender identity. I I very much relate to that raccoon. Four, six, nine. Nine can go here. Is it a tanuki? It doesn't have like the little um like striped tail. I guess I don't know what distinguishes a raccoon from a tanuki. Yeah, I, I know Tom Nook is one. I know generally what a tanuki looks like, like it's brown and, and has a little striped tail. But I can't really tell what the, the color palette on this, what it is. Well, do they have raccoons in Japan, I guess? Do they not have raccoons in Japan? They just have, well, tanukis aren't real either, right? Uh, four and six. Okay, we can't do that there. Um, and put one there, and then five, six, eight. Can't fill those in just yet. Japanese raccoon dog. Oh, Tanukis are real? Why did I... Maybe I'm getting that confused. I don't know why I shouldn't be getting that confused. I'm getting it confused with like the three-tailed fox, which is obviously not a real thing. <laughs> obviously that, that one isn't real. Also, Japanese pandas. Very cute. Love those. Love what they're doing over there. Honestly, I feel like this is really preparing me for my trip to Japan. Oh, that's not what I meant to put. I feel like I'll, this game will perfectly educate me. So I can be very culturally sensitive when I go. And I think... Um, I mean, as long as I'm not like Logan Paul, I think I'll be fine. I think the bar is kind of low for influencers going to Tokyo. Or Japan, generally. Yeah, I guess I was thinking about the Tanuki mythology. Not that I know any, but I thought that there was some. Really, I need to learn more. Uh, and then we got a one that can go there. Six. Six can go there. And eight can go there. And then... I keep clicking on the thing before the number filled. Tanukis look more like a ferret foxy than a raccoon. Hmm. I guess I haven't seen one then. I've only ever seen them in cartoon form, like Animal Crossing. Okay, eight, nine goes there. And then two and three go here, but we don't have enough information yet there. One, two, three, six, eight. Six can go here. And then eight, three, making good progress. One, two, three, four can go here. Um, six, go here. Eight goes here. Nine goes here. Oh, and this one, we need to fill in. Seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine, go there. And then... Nine can go there. There we go. Okay, we got all the nines down. And then... What was the other number? Four, six, seven. Eight. Three, four, five, six. Seven. Six. Man, the mega Sudoku in this game is going to take me out, though. Three. Four. And six. Four. Alright. Five. And... Eight. Right, five goes here. Eight goes there and then one and 
two goes there. We don't have enough information for that. Three, four, eight, eight, four, four also goes here. Um, and then what about these two? Three, four, five. Five, and then six, and then one, two, one and two goes there, um, two goes here, one goes there, sir? Sir, what are you doing? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to work here. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not. I realize it looks like that. He's fluffing up the pillows so he can sit on them. Okay, and now he's he's sitting on the pillows. <laughs> I'm sorry, I realize you all really couldn't see. <laughs> Coos, my god. Okay, I was in the zone. Now I need to get back to <laughs> Yeah, he's Goose, he's nesting. He's doing what Goose do. Yeah, I'm trying to work. He's trying to work. <laughs> Very true. All right, always stealing the show, that one. And then three. I swear, if, it, if she doesn't say anything when I'm done, oof. Um, one. And then two. I three. did it. Woo! All right, let's go give this to the boy before we go to bed. <laughs> My God, Goose, I'm still not over that. He's such a silly guy. Hello. I finished up the Sudoku. Way to go. So what do you think? I love I Sudoku. I've got one last type of puzzle to show you. This is one of my favorites. Renograms. We love the boy. It's all about creating an unbroken string of numbers. Tell me what you think when you're done. I don't done. remember Renograms. Here you go. It's like where you're making a picture. I think. I'm back for more Sudoku. Here you go. Is that the master Sudoku? I think. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Through. Oh no, it's just the normal ones. What fill the grid with available numbers to create a single consecutive string from one to fifty six. Each number connecting to the next along the horizontal horizontal to vertical or diagonal. Are called Hidato? Did they just change it for this Nate for this game or are renograms like is renograms just a phrase specific to this game? Oh. Oh. Oh no. This is intimidating just for this game. They were like, mm, let's not get too much actual Japanese culture in this game. That is interesting. Maybe the voice actor couldn't pronounce it and they're like, well, we did hire a white guy. <laughs> one, one. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm scared. We have to do these to progress the game? That's scary. Ew. Three. 
my god. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine and eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Okay. Okay. It's not as bad now that I'm doing it. Um fifteen. 18. Okay, this is fine. This is potentially fine. Oh, but then I'm going to trap myself. No, no, wait. Yeah, I am going to trap myself. Yeah, I'm fucked. Ah. No. Nar. It's kind of fun until I messed it up and then I was like, wait, I hate this. <laughs> we were doing well. Okay, clearly around like the 20 mark, I did, I goofed. All right, so we have to keep that corner open. I see, I see, okay. Um, eight. Nine and 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, mm. 3, 24, dang it, I fucked up again. I, I goofed. Oh, I hate that you have to start all the way over. That's baloney. It flashes to give you a hint? I mean, I thought it was leading to the next path, but is that really... Okay. Am I speedrunning this? Am I doing it too slow? I don't need to start all the way over? Okay, that's critical information. Okay, so I think I had the first, like, 15 numbers. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I hear y'all. We'll slow it down a little bit. Up until, like, this point, I feel pretty solid. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18... Um, could go here or here. I'm gonna try this. 20, 21, 2, 23, 24. Dang it. I'm messing up this. This part. Okay. Hang on. How do I... Okay. I see, I see. Okay. So, um... Clearly that's in the wrong spot, because that's where it keeps getting me. Let's do 22 up here. 23. We can get out of that corner. No, that doesn't work either. 22, one. This dog face is mocking me. Oh, you have no Halloween costume? Look at my stream yesterday. I gave y'all plenty of options. Be an ingrown hair. <laughs> That's the hottest new Halloween costume. Be an ingrown hair. Ooh. Honestly, Shorty is a good Halloween costume. Actually, when you think about it, Dan's costume basically is a Shorty cosplay from last year. Because he was the cowboy from Night at the Museum. Man. Okay. Twenty-two. Twenty-four. God, I can't figure out how to get this corner open. 
21. Two, 23, 24. Because that's not allowed. I can't do that. Twenty-two. You're you're right, Dixie. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to do this straight through. Madison, I, I'll I'll take a suggestion. Because that's the point where I'm unsure. Do the bottom corner. Twenty two and then the twenty three stacked above the twenty four. So twenty seven has to go in this corner. And then by extension, oh, is twenty nine already on the board? I don't see 29 to fill in. Um... Right? And then, what, what was Madison saying? Oh, I'm holding the 29. Okay, that's, that's what, that's what was happening there. Okay, well 29 also has to go there. Let me see. And then... Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-nine. Where is the next? We gotta get all the way up there. Thirty. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Put these down. 17, 18, 19, do 20 here, 29, wait no, 20 here. I'm losing the plot. Yeah, I shouldn't have moved 25 where I just did. Whoops. I was just trying to put stuff down. Now I messed it up. Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Um, that shouldn't be there. 29. 30. 31, 32, okay. 33, 34. 5, 36, 37, 38. 39, 40. I gotta get to 44 from here. So, 41, 42, 3. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. It. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> that was a, a mind twister. That was fun, though. We had a good time. Hey. All right, give it to me. Oh, do I not need any more? I finished up the Renegrams puzzle. Great! I knew I've never you done would. anything like that don't before, I don't think. Other puzzles, but this is my favorite. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm done with another Renegrams puzzle. Here you go. I don't think we have to do all I should go. the puzzles. I'll talk to you later. I just Bye. don't have to do the Master Sudoku. Yeah, that's the thing. I would do. I would do Sudoku when I didn't want to do like my 
lawyer activities. <laughs> when I needed a brain break from doing lawyer stuff, I, I would do Sudoku. Obviously didn't get to do that a whole lot, but that is something I did. We're on the right side. No, we are not. There we go. All right, let's go to bed. The rest are optional. Okay. I just remember the giant Sudoku that I know we have to do, but I don't remember how that comes into play. Um, don't we have to like go to bed too at like <laughs> really late? I'm scared. Oh, see, that's just me. What was that? That's just me in the middle of the night because I drink a lot of water. Oh, no, the screen tore. I better tell Mawako about this tomorrow. It oh, my gosh, Nancy, causing property damage. I should try to get some more sleep. <laughs> must have just been my imagination. Also, I'm like barely on the screen. This is my screen. Hang on. <laughs> There we go. Thank you. This is this is not the goose show. This is my show. <laughs> not not Ken's dream house. It's my dream house. Okay, fine. Hello. Oh, hi, Nancy. What was the name of the place you're staying at again? The Ryokan Hie. Told you. Guess you're right. What are you two talking about? We met this girl at a bento booth at the expo, and she grew up at the Ryokan you're staying at. Pretty crazy coincidence. Is her name Yumi? Do we know that yet, though? You've got to get down here and meet her. She's so much fun. She told us all about everyone at the Ryokan, and it sounds like you've got your hands full. I should come to meet her. How did we know that she exists yet? I have yet. a few questions. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? I know that tone of voice. What tone of voice? Yep, that's the one. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're working a case, aren't you? Maybe. Do you think Nancy has a cop voice? I don't voice? know exactly what is going on at the Ryokan, but it's really strange. Busted. Okay, you got me. I may have found a mystery. Shocking. So, what can we do for you? I swear, Nancy yeah, is always on? looking for drama, well, isn't she? I saw something really strange in my room. What? Nancy's I one inch away from being a cop. In my room, but when I looked out on the balcony, no one was there. It was like whoever it was just disappeared. Creepy. Okay, that's it. We're leaving Japan. I'm sure there is a logical explanation. Me too. I'm just not sure what it is yet. The two of you, I swear, if we were being chased by a dinosaur... Maybe the devs just thought, is her name Yumi, is the Japanese version of... <laughs> Where's your sense of panic? An American was man being scary, called Matt? Honestly, you may but be I right. I don't believe that someone could just disappear. Right. Well, you said a shadow figure, right? Maybe it was some sort of trick of the light. That's what I was thinking. I'll keep an eye out for something like that. Spooky. Must be nice for Nancy not having sleep paralysis. I see a shadow figure every night. You don't see me making a whole mystery out of it. You don't see me making a big fuss about that. I don't want... I don't know what to do to leave the Ryokan. I don't know what to do to leave the Ryokan. How do I get out of here? We all got? Not, Find your not them explaining the public train. transit to her. Guys, I'm stuck here. <laughs> Guys, I'd really love to see you, but I don't know how to get out of this place. Nancy, please. My I'll God. Let you go. Bye. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired of this 50-year-old woman masquerading as a teenager. All right. Let's get out of here. What is a train ticket? I need a dictionary to translate that. Do we? Let's use our common sense. Oh, do I not have it? 
Oh, I think I have it in my room, and I didn't pick it up. Me? These drums are doing a lot. These drums are doing too much. <laughs> Does the sign say cat, perhaps? Let's see how they did. Hot and cold. Never let them know your next move. Never let them know. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Here's my stuff. There we go. Ugh, Nancy really bringing the fits, I see. Really bringing the fashion. <laughs> Nancy's really educating the youth. Alright, here we go. Let's get out of here. What's a train? Can't get on a train without a ticket. Are you sh are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Do you not buy a ticket at the train station, Nancy? Nancy doesn't know how public transportation works. That's the thing. Locked. That's the issue. That's not my responsibility. It's not my responsibility to educate Nancy on how public transit works. All right, come on, turn around. Nancy doesn't have money. She's rich. What do you mean? Yeah, we're not putting up with that. I don't think so. Yeah, Nancy's got the car brain rot. Classic American. <laughs> Nancy lives in a car society. All right, here we go. Uh, what is the train station we're trying to go to again? Um, the Recon. The Misawa station, the Pachinko parlor is at the Curie station, the Ex Exposition Center is at the Matsue station. Okay. So we're trying to go to the... Let's see. Matsue. I gotta go... Presumably from Iga. Ooh. We can only go to one so far. So let's do it. I also love Nancy getting off at every individual stop. This woman has never been on a train in her life. That's not how that works. Okay, so we can go to... Otsu? Or what was the other one we could do? Misawa. Oh, here, here comes the... Oh, Misawa's where we came from. I see. They didn't have to go this hard on this music. All right, Amari, Tokyo, Okayama. Let's see. Fuck it up. I'm trying to go to Iga or Ube. Why'd the music go away, by the way? Kochi Seto. We can go to Seto. Seto, Ube, Kochi, Kofu, Nigata. That's where he came from. Where 
Lightning. God. I just love that music so much. <laughs> what do y'all think of this? Allergy free though. You might be looking at Goose's replacement. <laughs> Goose's replacement right here. He does all the tricks. He's never tired when there's a Goose cam. <laughs> free them. <laughs> free them. All right. Hi, Hello. Is your name Yumi? Absolutely not. Who's asking? It might be. Are you going to order? What's your agenda here, stranger? I'm Nancy Drew. Mm, nope. Never heard of you, but thank you for saying your name out loud. Oh, wait, Nancy Drew? As in friends with Beth and George and staying at the Ryokan, See, Nancy this one, Drew? for some or reason, is fine. Which one is it? That's me, the friends with Bess and George. I didn't really try Excellent. and do an accent on this yes, one. Yes, perfect. Get over and here. And I'm fine Come with on. that. You're learning to make bento the Yumi way. Come on, trust me, it's a life skill. Once you know how to make a good bento box, you pretty much got the whole world all Something figured tells me out. this woman has been told she's like Ramona Flowers at some point in her life. Sure, sounds this good. poor, poor woman. Fantastic. Here are the ingredients. You may Ugh. notice that they run the gamut I from love pretty cute a bento box. to insanely adorable. This is not an accident. Okay, very easy. The customers will give you a list of what they want and how they want it organized, and you pack it together. You won't believe how easy it is. Okay, I gotta go. Going? Where are you going? The store. Good luck. You'll do fine. I'll be back soon. I love this. Make Wait, the Nepo baby work, I please. Guess I better get to work. All right, these are fun. These are fun little puzzles. So it has to be both a pig and rice. Pig rice, and then a bear, bear egg. Bear rice, and then these can be any type of bear, any type of thing. Okay. Hmm. Do sandwich. Egg, pig sandwich. Oh, here's a pig sandwich. And then Cat. Cat. All right, how'd I fuck it up? Um, egg, rice, that's a, that's a question to myself, by the way. Egg, rice, sandwich, bear, egg, um, Pig, pig sandwich, rice. Hmm. Each box has... I was too busy listening to the dancing. Perhaps I missed up the rules. On how to arrange three items on use the request, which shows an animal, food type, or a combination of both to determine the final box placements. Any square and request includes blank ones. Bento box is now ready to serve. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna reset because clearly I fucked it up. I thought I was killing it. Um is that that's rice, right? Yeah, okay. Pig, rice. Bear, egg. Bear, rice. Oh, and that's bear and then pig. Um, and then bear, 
pig. Cat. Pig sandwich. Cat. Hey, I did it. There we go. It was pretty cute. Thanks for helping out, Nancy. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention to the instructions. I was jamming. Mm. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened with your mother? This is not the time or the place. Yeah, is I agree. Is there a better time? Maybe when you're not at work? <sighs> there is never going to be a time or place. Yeah, Just Nancy. Yeah. My God. Can you come back in a bit? Okay. Well, we blew that conversation. So, about your dead mom. I now should go back to work. Now that I did one shift for you. One sh shift is what I meant to say. <laughs> okay, well, that conversation's over. I think after I press some buttons, she'll forget. I asked her about her dead mom right after meeting her. Can you come back in a bit? Oh, I blew it. I blew it. Um... Still have to do that. That's done. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. That's done. Check. Haven't done that. Oh yeah, we still have to do the baths and stuff. Okay, well who still needs have her? To do that. We did one thing for her. Who needs her? Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Whatever. All right. Yeah, let's save, save the game. Who needs her? <laughs> I can't believe I immediately blew it by asking about her dead mom. Okay. Uh, Misawa is where we're from, right? That's where we're going. Who cares about the mystery? I'm just jamming. I mean, I personally, I would dump my trauma after one favor. If someone's nice to me once, they're hearing my whole life story, but I guess we're not all the same. Hello. <laughs> all right. <laughs> he said, anyways, you asked about my dead mom? Here, take this cryptic message. I don't, I don't claim to understand her. I don't Hi. claim to understand how her mind works. I tore one of the screens in my room. I'm really sorry. Do not worry, Nancy-san. This happens often. Very easy to fix, just a little steam to loosen the glue. I'll have Lentalo take care of it immediately. Great, thanks. When I tore the screen, I think I saw the someone best on my best George balcony. and Yumi being a thruple. Right. They are living it up it's without us. To worry and about. good for them. Nancy's the toxic. The screens really distort things sometimes. I'm sure it was just your imagination. It wasn't my imagination. Don't let him gaslight you, I Nancy. I saw someone walking on my balcony, and then she just disappeared. You're seeing things. It is just your imagination. I met Rentaro. Who is this Who is man? He? Uh, Lentaro, he's my boyfriend. He's also Go a handyman off, around here. Have you two been dating long? I'm sorry. I should really get back to my paperwork. <laughs> Nancy, if you please. About the dokan, Please don't She's trying to, to work. Oh my gosh. I'll stop bugging you now. Okay, see ya. All right. See you later, babe. See you later. All right, should we go take a piss? Because we weren't allowed to do so yesterday. Go piss, girl. She truly has no filter. She's out of control. She needs to be stopped, quite frankly. Oh, I went around the wrong way. I'll find this bathroom if it's the last thing I do. Here we go. Let's do it. Go piss. Oh, I, I didn't realize I had to step forward. <laughs> oh, Nancy's invisible. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Me without my moisturizer. Right there. Yeah, I think Nancy is the ghost. Nancy thinks she's still alive. 
and is haunting the Ryokan and bothering all of these people. All right, well, anyways. Anyways, oof. Not my responsibility. Yeah, it looks like something is missing here. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Um. Yeah, if I didn't see myself in the mirror, I think that would freak me out more than the ghost. Oh, was Dan walking around the background? Probably. I, I told y'all. He'll, um, why is there a scale in here? Hello? Did y'all see that? Hello? I'm on vacation. Uh, Dan said that he'll stream with us when we get to 100 subs. 100 subs. Very generous of him. Haunted tours, but on the search for ghosts, you'll want to make sure you don't call in any additional bad luck. Here are 13 Japanese superstitions to be aware of. The number four is pronounced she, the same as the word for death, and is considered very unlucky. That makes sense. As a result, many hotels do not have the room with the number four or fourth floor. The number nine and the word pain also share the pronunciation ku. Though not as unlucky as four, pain is still frequently skipped in numbering rooms on or floors in hospitals. Whistling at night will attract snakes. Well, that's not haunted. Oh yeah, that's okay to ask. I have the, the sub goal running on the Twitch so y'all can see. We're at 15 right now. Um, avoid, avoid sticking chopsticks upright into a bowl of rice as is a traditional part of the funeral ritual. Don't sleep with your head pointing north. Breaking a comb or the strap of your Jetta sandal, or is it Jetta, will bring bad luck. Never write another person's name in red ink. Something bad will happen to them if you do. What if I want something bad to happen to them? My question. This looks important. I should figure out where I can use it. Let's hit the slots with that thing. Woo! Woo! This patient trophy. It is Death Note. <laughs> they saw they saw Death Note and they saw the ring and they're like, we have a game right here. I know Japanese culture. <laughs> I bought mochi at Trader Joe's and I know Japanese culture. Cause Nancy's always looking at people's stuff. She has no boundaries. This woman is out of control. All right. Oh, we have to get another lesson. Can't check that off yet. We have to do that. Still have to do that. I just hate talking to the grandma. It's rough. That's done. Haven't done that. I guess you should tell her we we broke Haven't the thing. Haven't done that. Yeah. Sorry, I pooped on the mirror. It's broken. <sighs> sorry. Hi. Hello. I'm sorry. The mirror broke when I was in the baths, but before it broke, oh, I saw Dr. the Pooh, image you're fine. of a woman who wasn't in the room with this, me. You can see the sub goal on my Twitch. It's not a I'm secret. Sure Don't worry nothing. about it. I have learned to take care of it right away. Until then, please stay away. I don't want you to get hurt. But I saw something. I'm sure of it. You work too hard, Nancy-san. Up too late, off to teach so early. You must rest the more. The gaslighting, Your though. suffers if you do not get enough rest. I know what I saw. Nancy-san, please. I have to ask you to let me get back to work. Alright, this woman is working too hard, let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to make a Yelp review of Nancy. She is insufferable. Uh, sub points are not the same as subscribers. So like if someone subs at tier three, you get more sub points because it costs more to subscribe. But I think everyone sub now is at tier one. So I think we do have 15 subscribers, if that makes sense. And I think um, like gift subs also have different points. Not totally clear on that. But yeah, we have we have 15 subs, pretty sure. All right, let's go find Granny and do the questionable cultural lesson. Let's get it over with. All right, here we go. I found it this time. Nancy, today I have a very fun. important lesson. We Did y'all do those like origami. um mash origami Great. things? Let's get started. Where you would figure out origami who all your classmates would marry? In many forms for centuries, Master Yoshizawa 
Oh, I should be listening to her. Back before it could disappear. Nana see danger, Nancy son, in forgetting. If the whole world forgets a thing or a person, then it is gone forever. Rude. Really? I have for you here a selection <laughs> Anyways, of let's origami, do origami patterns. A few steps away from the last step. You Coochie must catchers. Match the Madison, you rapscallion. Design. I've never heard them called that. Oh, what do you mean, XD? I'm sorry. I definitely made boys do it, and they'd be like, hmm, I don't want to do that. But secretly, they were like, Because, <laughs> you know, gender norms oppress us all. They get us all at the end of the day. These all just look like fancy paper airplanes. Um, I used to do, know how to do a little origami frog because I would make them on my desk and I would go like bloop, bloop. Because they like jump. I don't remember how to do them anymore. Hmm. <laughs> No, again. <laughs> she was not happy with me. They are perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Nailed it. <laughs> you have many talents, Nancy. The Song. silence. The silence before I saw it. <sighs> okay. I'm so talented. Thank you. Um, I'll stop bugging you now. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. If you could make like a... I would do like the tiny little fortune tellers. I would do them as small as possible. I did that too. I love doing that. All right. Well, we did that. We did that. All right, let's go talk to Yumi and not ask her about her dead mom this time, and maybe we'll get a little further. Oh, EC Wilco? No, there has not been any updates. Not, like, substantive updates. Although, I found it interesting. So, it seems like a lot of the people who work at Her Interactive now, they're fully remote, and they're all, like, people my age. Like, they're people who are fans of the games growing up as kids, and they're, like, new to the company now. And one of the uh, women was doing like an Instagram update and she talked about how she met the Ned Nickerson voice actor and she was so excited because um, she had played these games as a kid and like liked the Ned character for some reason. I don't know. But she talked about, oh, it was so exciting because she wrote some lines for Ned, as it turns out. And I'm like, wait, why is this like game developer writing lines for Ned? Is there not like a dedicated script writer for this game? And also Arglethump, who's like the main Nancy Drew Let's Player, he recently went out for to beta test the game. And he was making me nervous because he signed an NDA and he did a live stream talking about his experience and he clearly was not sure about what he could and couldn't talk about. And he was just kind of like rambling. He didn't say a lot. He just said it was better than Midnight in Salem. But other than that, he really didn't say much. Um, but from what I can tell, I think the game's coming out late 2024, if not 2025. Yeah, I just, I don't think the game's going to match up to what we want it to be. I can only hope it's at least better than Midnight in Salem, because if it's their last game, I'd like them to go out on a more positive note. But who knows? Bye. Um love that last picture of you and Bess. Anyways. Thanks. What do you think of Rentaro? Let's get the tea though. Other than that he should get a job at the Nerd Statue Factory as their primary model. He's a good time. What do you think of Rentaro? There's something a little weird about him. The white voice actor. Yeah, that weird thing about him is his personality. <laughs> that kid True. is his own special kind of neurotic. Huh, always has been. But he's my fake little brother, so I'm used to it. Until someone brings it up, I forget how he must seem when you first meet him. 
What do you mean by fake little brother? He first moved in next door when I was seven and Miwako was five. He followed us around day and night. One day, when he was being a real pain to Miwako, she just snapped Okay, she's starting to hit the accents too. It was bad news. My mother saw. After that, we had to be nice to him no matter what. At least when she was in sight. Eventually, he grew on us. Especially Miwako. Alright, she's starting to hit the accents later. again. Bye! Alright. What should I be up to right now? Did that. Find a way to get the article translated. Can't check that off yet. Oh, should Can't I ask about the Ryokan? Get a closer look at the cat. All right, we should creep on the cat for sure. For sure. Yeah, she started out fine and then she just really started hitting some of those words and I was like, oh, okay, we gotta end this conversation. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> She at least held back a little bit. <laughs> I'll give her that. Hi. All right, let's find out about the Ryukon. Do you think that the Ryukon is haunted by what? Ghosts? No. Ghosts aren't real, Nancy. Oh, come on. That's no fun. Do y'all all believe in ghosts? I know I've asked this question before, but we have some new people here. Y'all believe in ghosts? What is a Ryukon? A ryukan is almost exactly like a hotel or a spa, but far more traditional. This ryukan has been my family for generations. Passed down Ooh, from mother to That's so daughter in order to preserve the traditional style, the food, the caretaking. Every little detail is as it would have been generations Kimber Nickel, ago. is there... Did you have an How experience that made you believe? A very long time. My grandmother says it has been passed down since the early 1700s. So one day you'll pass this place on to your daughter? That must be very nice. Well, I'm the younger daughter. My older sister Yumi will be the one to take over the ryokan. Oh. My grandmother's offering a few classes in traditional <laughs> the transition. arts. She's in room 18 at the end of the hall. As for me, I believe in ghosts, but I'm mostly skeptical of like ghost stories. Like, and also, when people tell me their later. ghost stories, See you later. I generally, like, you know, if they say it with conviction, I believe them. Okay, no experience. Fair enough, fair enough. I've already shared my ghost story, so I won't, I won't repeat myself unless someone asks. <laughs> I need a key to open this door. But for all the skeptics out there, I do, I am also a lifelong sufferer of sleep paralysis, so. That's probably a, a good explanation of most of my ghostly experiences. Yeah, Madison, I, I agree. I think there, there's something out there. For sure. But I think there are scientific explanations for like a lot of things people experience. Like I think sleep paralysis accounts for do that. a fair amount. Check. Still have to do that. Oh, Kim, I'll tell you my story. Sure. So, um, I told this in my ghost hunting video way back when, but, um, when I was in high school, I got, sorry, I might ha actually have to stop moving so I can tell my story here. Let's, um, I'll do it just chatting. Okay, when I was in high school, I was in a play and I was in a play with like this really rich kid was directing it. And um, he was also from Eastern Russia. This is when I lived in Germany. I know y'all don't know this about me. I lived in Germany once. I'm very cool. <laughs> and, um, but he was from like Eastern Russia and a lot of the props he used in the play Oh, wait, Kimber Nickel, have you heard this story? Okay, you have heard the story. All right, I'll 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 still tell it because I'm rolling now, but I'm going to finish it. Okay. So we were I was in this play, and because it was a play that took place in like the 1930s or 40s, he gave me this typewriter. He gave me this typewriter, and um, it was a prop in the play, and I thought it was really cool, and he gave it to me as a thank you for being in the play because I would always be playing with it. And the typewriter... 
it doesn't function, but you can like click clack on it and you can hear, um, you can hear the little, little spooky noises. And so I took it home and I had it for a couple of years. I've always suffered with sleep paralysis. As I just said, I've always had like sort of, it's always visual though, purely visual. A lot of times it'll be things like floating in my room. It'll be like, woo, and then it'll float up. Never really auditory though, but I have it. I have the typewriter for a couple of years. I move back to Maryland and one night I wake up in the middle of the night and I hear the click clacking of the typewriter. And at first I don't even know like what it is. It takes me a little bit to like pick up on what's happening, but I'm like, oh my God, that is the typewriter clicking. And then Nutmeg, who was my, um, my family dog, she slept in the bed with me at the time. I look over and she is standing, all her hairs are standing up and she is growling right at the typewriter. And that's when I realized, oh, Nutmeg can hear this too. Nutmeg can hear what's happening right now. And the thing is when I have sleep paralysis, I can feel that it's a dream. I can sense that it's a dream. I can tell what I'm hearing is not real. This was so real to me. My heart just like sank. It was so scary. And then I managed somehow to go to sleep. But then the next day, I, um, my bedroom was in the basement, by the way. So I'm still sitting in the basement. There was sort of like a little hangout area outside of my bedroom. And I'm watching TV. I'm trying to like not think about what happened the previous night. But then I hear a crash from behind me. And we had, you know, like in my family home, we had a wall of pictures. We had like a bunch of picture frames up on the wall. And I turn around and lying face up is the one picture on the wall of me. <laughs> and that was the most terrifying 24 hours in my home. It sure was. And I think another time when I lived in that house, I also heard like a good night whisper in my ear. And I always got my sleep paralysis was absolutely at its worst when I was at that house. I went like, I think I was telling people recently until I was t started taking like the trazodone, I went a really long time without having it. But that house was spooky. That house had something. Yeah, and then I died that night and I've been a ghost this entire time. Yeah, <laughs> or Nutmeg was pranking me. Yet to be determined. I remember I told Dan that story and I'm like, do you believe me? And he's like, I believe you think that's what happened. <laughs> I believe you think that's what happened. Anyways, I got to update my iTunes. <laughs> Don't pay attention to that. So that's my ghost story. Um... And if you hadn't heard that before, you clearly didn't watch my Ghost Hunters video. <laughs> clearly, you're not a real fan. Yeah, Dan doesn't believe in Ghost. It's his biggest flaw, I would say. A skeptic. It's unfortunate. We make it work. Oh, basement bats. I mean, the thing is, I hope it doesn't make me faint, because I'm very prone to fainting already famously i haven't gotten like crazy side effects i mean the sleep paralysis i had when i was a kid so i'm kind of used to it i didn't have it like the past couple nights it hasn't been too bad yeah mad, mad godla i get that too i think there are a lot of fake ghost stories or like people tell the story so much they start to believe it i hear you but, um, you know, that's like my one story where I truly have like no explanation for it. And so the rest of it, I can kind of write off as sleep paralysis or just like seeing things out of the corner of my eye. That's my one thing where I'm like, at the end of the day, I believe something, something. Oh, Sarah, Sarah, I'm, I'm sorry, Trasodone didn't do anything for you. Were you taking it for sleep too? What's up, cat? Suki? Anyways, Robot Cat. Cat's about to kill us.
Oh, based on pass, you're not you're not a pots girly like me. Looks like I'll need a password. Although orthostatic hypotension is not much better. Basically the same thing, at least in my experience. Ooh, haunted college is fun. I was about to ask where you went to school, but maybe you, you don't want to share that information, Laffy Taffy. You don't have to share that information if you don't want to. I have not heard of the podcast, We Can Be Heroes. Is that a... Is it a ghost podcast? Haven't done that. That's done. Let me see. What else we gotta do right now? Still have to do that. Still have to do that. Hey, visit to Kai for what? Pots gang, let's go. Let's go. Honestly, I feel like it's pri probably because I have a primarily, um, like femme audience. But the l total lack of research dedicated to pots or just like the general chronic fatigue and sickness that it feels like almost every like femme person experiences in like their 20s. It's crazy to me. It makes me so mad sometimes because it just feels like so many people have it and no one knows what's up with that. And it's like, well, it seems like we should be researching that, but no. Better call it a night. Yeah, or endometriosis. Like, any of the, like, chronic illnesses that primarily affect women or, like, AFAP people. It's crazy. It really is a man's world. I could go on. I won't. Don't, don't get me started. <laughs> I was thinking at some time, um, doing a video on my, like, POTS diagnosis, because, um, I know I, I talk about it a fair amount on my Twitch. But not a lot of people on, on YouTube really know about that. I do think I'll I'll do a video on it, maybe in December or something. Yeah. Um because I just feel like a lot of people don't know about this stuff. And it's a bummer sometimes. Because a lot of people have it, especially post-COVID. Thanks for repairing my screen. That was pretty embarrassing. Oh, no problem. Easy fix. Just took a little steam to loosen the paper, a little new glue. No one will ever be able to tell. Just yeah. don't do it again. The fem neurodiversity thing is so true to dog shampoos. Like I didn't get diagnosed with ADHD until paper cuts is way worse two, three years ago. Down. Why did I bring it up? You know? And it's just because like teachers weren't trained to look out for what like fem ADHD looks like, you know? Oh, I watch Lee speak sometimes. I I didn't know she- I didn't realize she had POTS as well. I want to be friends with Lee Speaks. <laughs> I feel like Lee Speaks and I would get along. We comment on each other's videos. Oh, I'm- I'm manifesting a friendship for us. I'll let you get back to work. <laughs> Peace out. Uh, if y'all don't watch Lee Speaks, you should. They make really good stuff. Sarah, Sarah, if it's so interesting that you say that because I, um, I was vegan for a very long time and people would tell me that I needed to eat beef because they're like, well, you get more iron that way. And I'm like, but I don't have an iron deficiency. I've been tested so many times for anemia and I don't have it. <laughs> and it's also like when you have an iron deficiency, you don't get prescribed red meat. You get an iron pill. Like that's not the solution to sometimes. Son. Today we like, learn. I have respect for the medical profession, but some individual doctors really irritate me to no end. It is much more than making tea. It is the perfect exercise. Yeah, I I watched Nicole's video too. That's another really content creator I really like. The ceremony, but today I will simply be teaching you the basics. All right, tea ceremony. Actually, I'd like to ask you about. The tea ceremony 
is foremost a gift. Right. I was told I had to you pay attention for this. A very special visit for Flens. And preparing to make certain every detail is perfect. <sighs> now there is a lot to learn. Be ready. I'll be asking you questions once I've finished. Let us begin. This is called Okay, Kapuro. I have to pay attention. Here we have the chasen or tea whisk. I use that for matcha. Here is the chakin, the tea cloth. Chakin. This is called the kensui. This bamboo ladle is called a hishaku. You place the teapot covered on the futaoki. This is the chawan or tea bowl. The tea scoop is called the I chakaku. use that also for matcha. This is the tea container. It is called the natsume. Each object has its proper place in the ceremony. You must place each item where it belongs. All right. Chasen. Ugh. We're going to be here for a while. Um. Dokken. Kensui. <laughs> Natsume. Um. Chawan? You give me Chawan vibes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the memorization. Oh, what the meme XD? I, I feel you on the tilt table test. It took me three years to get a tilt table test. And even after I got a tilt table test, a doctor still refused to diagnose me with POTS. I had to go to a different specialist. He was like, your, your results came... I fainted. I fainted on the tilt table test. I told people on stream about it. My heart rate went to 150 just by standing up and I passed out. And they're like, well, you're a normal, healthy girl. And we don't want to diagnose you with something because doctors will treat you a certain way if you get diagnosed with POTS. And I'm like, sir, do you not realize that you're treating me a certain way right now that I don't really appreciate? I can't. I can't. Did not see that doctor again. <laughs> All right. Uh, can you believe I fucked up? No, Chasen's right. Let us begin. This is called the furo. Here we have the chasen oh, okay. or tea whisk. Okay, that's right. Here is the chakin, chakin the tea cloth. This is yeah, if we don't diagnose you, you stay healthy. This bamboo ladle is called a <laughs> that must be the logic. <laughs> you place the teapot covered on the futaoki. This is the chawan or tea bowl. The tea scoop is called the chasaku. This is the tea oh, that's container. Wrong. It is called the Natsume. Each object has its proper place in the ceremony. You must place each item where it belongs. Supraventricular tachycardia. I haven't heard of that, actually. I know tachycardia means, like, fast heart rate, but I don't know what, um, supraventricular means. What was the other one? This? Let us begin. This is called the furo. Here we have the chasen, or tea whisk. Here is the chakin, the tea cloth. This yeah, is called heart go faster kensui. disorder. This yeah. bamboo ladle is called a hishaku. You place the teapot covered on the futaoki. This is the chawan. Or okay, tea bowl. good. The tea scoop is called the chasaku. Okay, I fucked that up. This is the tea container. It is called the natsume. Each object has its proper place in the ceremony. You must place each item where <laughs> oh my it God. belongs. This accent. I'm sorry, I'm making y'all listen to this accent so many times. Okay, so natsume, kenzui. Well done, Nancy San. There we go. Wonderful, Nancy San. All right, we did it. <laughs> wonderful. I Thank would you. Be honored to be invited to take tea with you. Thanks. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're getting spooks. <gasps> Very stagnant little ghostly woman, isn't she? Moving so smoothly across. Come on now. What Come was on that? now. Just a minute ago. 
What do you mean? I saw something. It was the wind, the power lines. You had an ad for an electrolyte drink during the pot discussion. To worry about. That's very appropriate. Oh my gosh. Um I was actually talking to my manager about a liquid IV sponsorship. They were like, would you be interested in that? And I was like, yes, please. <laughs> if y'all don't know, uh, liquid IV is like a lifeline when you have POTS. Are you kidding me? Please send me a 60 day supply. I don't know. Um, I don't know if we actually like landed on that. Please, if pot, like liquid IV, if you're listening, I would love, love <laughs> to be sponsored by liquid IV. I use I'll it you all the time. Goodbye. Please. Oh, um, I, um, I quit working as a lawyer in August, end of August. Yeah. I know I said that on, on Twitch earlier, but I don't know if you were here for that. You know, I met my, um, my YouTube manager. No, I didn't tell my law manager about my POTS diagnosis. Oh, no, don't worry. You're fine. Can't check that off yet. We left Can't on good check terms. That off yet. But to be honest, like, my my POTS was Can't a big check that off yet. factor in why I left working Can't as a check lawyer. That off yet. Um, because, like, it's gotten wor significantly worse in 2023, and um... Being a lawyer requires you to work at a minimum 40 hours a week, but most likely more. And I was like really, really struggling to make it through the day. And, you know, I was very lucky to have something that I love, like as something I could fall back on, like YouTube and Twitch. And that's like not the situation for a lot of people. So I kind of like took that opportunity as it presented itself, you know? Shouldn't talk on my phone here. Not here. Oh, yeah. Don't feel bad about asking. I, I understand the confusion. Yeah, YouTube and Twitch is my, my full-time thing right now. Oh, what the meme XD? I hope that goes well, though. Yeah, I hope you get the good work-life balance. I mean, everyone should, no matter, like, what... <laughs> like, that's just... That should just be the standard. It shouldn't just be a thing that like excludes people I automatically. And it's frustrating that it is. I looked in this mirror and instead of seeing my reflection, I saw a ghostly image. Ugh, creepy. Cool. Actually, I'm going to side with Bess on this one. No, I've heard about stuff like this before. There's a thing you can do to the glass to throw a false image, but it's a really fussy process. It's hard to do without breaking the mirror. Yeah, the mirror broke. So do you think it's possible it was rigged? More possible than the other option. Or I'm I a ghost. I really use a hint. <laughs> can you help with Sudoku? Right. These puzzles are all about logic. It's logical, it's actually. Lock, check all the connected rows and columns to help eliminate numbers. Yeah. Laffy Taffy, I, I know you know how it is. I'm sorry, I don't mean to, um... I feel bad because a lot of people who follow me will say like, Oh, I'm in law school or or I'm a lawyer. And I don't... I really don't mean to, to shit on the profession or make it seem like it's all bad. Because that's not the case. And I still have friends from law school who I love who are lawyers and do great things with their lives. You know? I don't want to make it seem like that's not a possibility. It just, like, was not for me. Have you seen the robotic cats they have here? I love those! I don't know if they're cute or creepy, but I love them anyway. Miwako has one. It's cute, but it's a little aggressive. It's in guard mode. There's a way to override that. Some and honestly, if YouTube gets deleted right. tomorrow, I'll probably be a lawyer again, so... Hmm. I bet if I check around the Goose would be the best lawyer. Else. That would be amazing. Thanks. Anytime. Need anything else? How's the expo going, George? It's crazy. I've never seen so yeah, many clever Yeah, Laffy Taffy. <laughs> that is a cliche of the profession. With a little bit of that is hating on the profession. Fish, large pond Unfortunate anxiety. but true. I'm still trying to get tickets for you, but it's not looking good. That's okay. Thanks for trying. 
Yeah, basement bats, I've thought about that as well. I know my family wanted me to see if I could do my own practice. The thing is, the things that like are easy to do as a solo lawyer are like trusts and estates, which I am famously bad at because it involves math and accounting. And if I don't have someone working with me to double check my math, that would be bad for the client's part. Or it's like property law, which I do have experience it in, but it's not the most exciting thing to me. I'm keeping my law license active. I'm never like, um, losing my law license. That's not the plan. And I, again, I would happily go back to it if it was like the right context. But I don't know, working solo also requires a lot of planning as well. I haven't ruled it out though. We'll see. Let you go. I'm 25, you Talk know? I don't have it all figured out just yet. Uh, I don't know if you can part-time public defend. I have friends who public defend and it's a lot of work. Especially when they have trials, it's like they're Can't working the yet. whole weekend and stuff. And Can't check that off yet. If that was an option available to me, I would love to. Or um I have also thought about you can be a law clerk, which is where you're basically like an assistant to a judge for a year. And it's meant to be like the job you do your first year outside of law school, but some people do do it um like later in their law school law career. I have thought about going back as a law clerk because I I was a legal assistant to a judge in law school and I really enjoyed that because you get to see like every type of case that there is and I think that's really fun. Like I do love law. I loved learning about it. It really is just like the 60 hour work week that like gets me hung up, honestly. Um, so I haven't ruled out like going back part time at some point. I think it's just like 2023 has just been a bad year for my health, to be honest. So I've been trying to figure that out while I'm still on my parents' health insurance and then see where we go from there. Wilson Estates, I will say, is the most like, I think ethically neutral, least stressful version of law you can do. I would highly still recommend it as long as you can do math. All right, what should I be doing right now? What should I be doing? But also, this isn't legal advice. <laughs> but also, don't sue me if I'm giving bad advice right now. That's just my little my little law into insight. After one year of being a lawyer, you know I'm an expert. A will and estate lawyer turned detective. Honestly, that's a good premise, Madison. Watch me have a book published with that exact premise and not pay you any of the royalties next year. Now come on now. Now come on. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarah Seraph. It's because I'm turning 26 next year, so I have to get my own health insurance this year. It's on my mind. I've got to like go to all the specialists I can this year so that I can figure out because I, I kind of suspect that POTS isn't the only thing going on with me. I have to get over my fear of doctors and go to doctors in the next couple of months before I switch over. <laughs> and I keep putting it off because I don't like it, but I gotta do it. It's unfortunate. It really is. You turned 26, kept the same health plan, but it's 10K extra a year. Oh, America. Oh, America. My gosh. Unfortunately, Dan does not want to immigrate to Canada either because software engineers make less money in Canada. What's going not on? Not about it. The tragedy. Could you tell me a little bit about the Ryukon? I'm not into that sort of thing. Couldn't you find a pamphlet? Ooh, Madison. I was hoping for a I watched a tutorial on how to write opinion. a murder mystery. Oh, I get it. You want the dirt on the situation, right? Yes, exactly. Interesting. You're working some kind of angle here, aren't you? I watched a tutorial on the murder mystery. It's on my Patreon, the exact series. But it's like this guy from Wisconsin, and he has like an eight-part series on how to write a good murder mystery. And honestly, he has some good information. I don't remember his name. But if you search murder mystery tutorial, you'll definitely recognize him if you search him. Honestly, I love my Canadian chat. 
Uh, for all my Canadian people, uh, our Canadian friend Joe is visiting this week and he's very single looking for love. <laughs> I don't know if I have any people interested in men uh, um, on my channel, but if anyone wants to hear about Joe, <laughs> way too busy to talk. I know you're busy, but I helped you out. He's with been asking about my single friend, so I gotta a shoot my shot for him. Okay, surrounded by breathtaking views, you'll not <laughs> soon forget. He's a very nice man. Opens the door to a simpler time. Perfect for the business traveler hoping to experience yes, Madison on YouTube. Japan, uh, the tutorial. The family in search of that perfect vacation. Ryokin Hie, discover Japan, discover you. But honestly, um, but honestly, he wants to immigrate to the U.S. more than he wants to stay in Canada. So for the American people out here <laughs> looking for love, yeah, Joe from Canada. Um, does Joe have money? Joe has enough to support himself. I would not say he's a rich man. Persuasive, but I gotta be honest exactly about Joe. I wanted to know. But he has a Isn't lot of it? heart. That's mine from years back. I was thinking of going into advertising, but then I thought, nah. I was hoping you could tell me a little about some of the strange things that have been happening. Aha. If you really want to know. Oh no. Oh yeah, he's he's funny. Also, he asked me for fashion advice, so I gave him some reference photos of outfits, so like he knows how women want him to dress. Does Joe believe in ghosts? You know, I actually don't know that. I, I'm i seeing him on Saturday, so I'll ask him and report back. Because he's in town for two weeks. Honestly, I feel like if I asked him, he would show up on the stream. <laughs> me, me and Joe from Canada on the stream, can you imagine? But Dan, nowhere to be found. Because Goose loves Joe. Goose and Joe were cuddling it up. Goose and Joe get along very well. I'm running out of bento boxes. Can you please go grab my backup stock from my apartment? This is the sort of thing that Sorry, can lead us from buddies to straight up besties. Yeah, diversity, having a Canadian on, I agree. Sure. Great. It's just over by the Kurume station. I could tell right away that we were going to be friends. Here's yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell him he'll find love by going on stream. Oh, and P.S. My it's honestly not a bad strategy. Not the Canadian allegations. <laughs> I'll stop bugging you now. See you later. Yeah, so Dan, um, the reason Goose was barking earlier is because Dan just came back from DC because he was taking Joe touring around DC. He was giving Joe the taste of the American culture. All right, where's her apartment? Where's her apartment? Uh-oh. 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 Doesn't say where her apartment was. I was too busy talking about Joe. God damn it, Joe. This is why I'm not gonna finish this game. Kurume? Oh, yeah. You're right. You are right. Okay, let's see. Kurume. Okay. I see it. Hoku. Liana. Hey. I think we gotta take Kobe. Joe is, he lives in Ottawa currently, but he's from a rural area in Alberta originally. I know, I know the, the Joe lore. Joe would be so proud of me, remembering his lore. He's Alberta based though. Honestly, if, if I told Joe that I talked about him, he probably would tune in. He watches my YouTube videos, I know that. I don't know if he watches my Twitch stream. <laughs> y'all calling Joe Mama. He'll be so embarrassed. Y'all bodied him. Y'all got him with that one. Uh, I lost Kurumi. Where am I going again? Nope. <laughs> this is good stream talk. Alberta is our Texas. Yeah, he seemed to describe it that way as well. He did not seem fond of it. He said that, um, oh, there's Kurume. He said that there were like 12 people in his high school class. 
he did not like the small town vibe. He's a city girl. He's a city girl at heart, but he was raised in a small town. Um... All right, we're making our way over. Wait. 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 Where is it taking us? Okay. Let <laughs> me just going back. Just a small town, Joe. Living in a lonely world. All right, we're not allowed to go that way. Game said no. Did we do Niigata, Toyama. Are these real? Are these real Japanese stations? Did they try that hard? At least they're not from Manitoba. Am I right, Canadian people? <laughs> yeah, I know stuff about Canada. I mean, yeah, they're real places. Are they real train stations? Fuji or Seto? We're doing a very bad job at this. <laughs> Manitoba isn't real, knee slap. Hee <laughs> hee hee. I can slander it all I want all I want. I know nothing about the place. Way I'm barely paying attention to this. That's really good. Chigi. Kofu. Kofu. Tofu. <laughs> Alright, I need to stop being offensive. Yeah, I... The place names being real, but the metro layout, be, layout being entirely inaccurate, that checks out to me. That checks out. I don't think they would put that much thought into this. Nancy, good news! We met Ryuichi, the creator of the Suki cats. Thing is, he won't give away the secret phrases unless you buy one of the cats. All right, thanks for trying. Hey up, babes. But then the guy told George, for such a captivating, beautiful, hey gorgeous girl, he'd be willing to make an exception. You're turning red. Nancy, she's turning red. Am not. Anyway, there's a catch. He only shares secrets with the like-minded. With hot young monster women. monster puzzle to solve, but I'm too busy with expo stuff to solve it right now. All right, George, sure. Any chance that you could take a look at it? Sure. Anything sure. For such a captivating, beautiful. Enough. Nancy, hit that line. I'll send it right over to you at the Ryokan. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Sure. Anything for you. All right. Lonnie went hard on that. She didn't have to go that hard. <sighs> Immediately backing away from that. Shadow puppets. Spooky. I don't think I need a tutorial on how to make shadow puppets. How do you fill a whole book with how to make shadow puppets? That's the real question. You know what I mean? How do you feel a whole... I keep saying feel instead of fill. How do you fill a whole book with shadow puppets? Play. Dear Marianne, as usual, these letters are piling up and I haven't made it to the post office. It was great seeing you during your visit. Hurry back soon. I know I promised to make my way over to the States, but life always has other plans. The girls are keeping me busy and the Ryokan is double booked as usual. Yumi wanted me to tell you that she had a nice time during your visit. Although it would be hard to tell with her pouting for the cheap seats this whole time. She and Miwako have been the at each other's throats lately. I get real burpy. It's ugly. <laughs> I hope it's a phase, but I'm beginning to worry that it might not be. Cassie and Ben are such good friends. I wish I knew your secret. They're so different. You know, they remind me of you and me when we were kids. You were always so serious, and I was always doing my best to get you in trouble. I think that's what made us such good friends. 
I think that's what made us- Oh, I already read that. But for the two of them, it's always a battle. Enough of that. Send my love to the family. I can't wait to see you again. Susu? Kasumi. She got a Wii? That is very gay. I do- I do agree. Letters? Letters? Gay. <laughs> No straight person is writing letters these days. These must be what Yumi was talking about. I do declare. I do declare. Also, they googled Lolita fashion once, didn't they? Didn't they? I don't think we have this yet. You write letters and you're straight? I have news for you. Also a straight still person in my chat? <laughs> Very unusual. Still have to do that. Did that. Can't check that off yet. You what are all these straight people writing letters in my chat? <laughs> How'd you get in here? How'd you find your way over here? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So so silly Billy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kidding. You keep writing your letters. You're fine. All right. Um. Real fun. That's way. In this chat, impossible. <laughs> I don't write letters. When I have to, I ask Chat GBT to write emails. Yeah, that sounds more right. That sounds more like it. Yeah. You can be straight in this chat. I just don't want to hear about it. <laughs> Nancy! And you've got my boxes. Neat! Here, I've got a thing for you. Oh, Goose is gone. It's Goose destroyed term. my pillows and then he one. left. Thanks. What's it do? Come to think of it, it doesn't really do anything. Get a job, phone charm. It probably won't. That's okay. Just hang it on your phone. I've got cute. Tons. Help me with Bento and I'll hook you up with some super cute ones. Uh, your outfit is very interesting. Oh my gosh, Nancy. Your outfit is very interesting. Where did you get it? Get it? See, what the meme XD, my struggle is, I have no gay friends. Well, actually, I have one bisexual friend. That's it. And that's crazy. Online friends, I have, I have much more diversity in my online friends. But in real life, it is very straight around me. I am the token gay in my community. And I have been like, well, I was about to say, I was about to say something very bipho biphobic. I take it back. I was about to say, and I've been a rela in a relationship with a man for five years, but that doesn't not make you bisexual. I immediately retract that stage, that statement. Very problematic of me. Oh, you can't I apologize. Get this cool in a store. I made I'm it. the token gay. And I don't you even think on the clothes? gay scale, I'm that yeah, gay I'm is what I was trying to say. Boutiques to catch up to me. The places I go around here, fashion is the business. You don't show up looking out of date. Oh, I've got the best thing. You gotta have it. I use it to come up with all of my new ideas. Oh, what's that? It's a program for your phone. You upload pictures to the computer and send them to your phone. It lets you test out a new look on you or your friends. It's back at my place on the computer. Sounds great. I don't usually have time to keep up with the latest we fashion know, trends. We know, babe. We know. I could sort of tell, but yeah. I wasn't sure if you were going for an irony thing with your outfit. Hey! Just teasing. You pull off the old school thing, Nancy Drew. Some things don't go out of style. If you help me out with a little more bento right now, I'll hook you up with the program. Come on. All my gay friends are online. Da -da 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 I'm having too much fun. They're gonna have to kick me off of this thing. All right. Um. Bunny egg. Bunny egg. Let's do. Yeah, it's. It's like, it's a scale, you know. The grandma was really going for it. This woman, it's like, you know, she alternates between going for it and not trying at all. 
So it's a little more tolerable, but then it occasionally gets questionable. No, Dixavid, I, I don't think you're odd for not knowing, because that is sort of a, an intrusive thing to ask. But I, I understand that. I, w I wouldn't I wouldn't say that's odd um oh see this has to be bunny egg and then this has to be bunny sandwich it, you know it depends on the friend it depends on the relationship I don't I don't know the situation it is really funny though because like um my one lesbian friend from law school <laughs> two years after I'd, I'd known her she was like you know i am a lesbian but i don't like to volunteer that information and i'm like that is the first thing she told me <laughs> she's like hi i'm so and so and i'm gay <laughs> she was kind of in denial about how many how often she volunteered the fact that she was gay but i mean go off i was living for it didn't matter to me it was just so funny she was like I don't volunteer that information. And I'm like, babes, yes you do. Yes you do. Yeah, that woman, Elle Woods. She was living her best life and now she's an accomplished lawyer. So take that society. This cat egg. Uh, I fucked it up. Where'd my other cats go? Where are my cats at? Where are my cats at? All right, we got cat, bunny egg. Bunny sandwich. Bear. This be. Bear. Oh no, that should be bear egg. Egg. And then. Bunny plank sandwich. Sandwich. This should be a cat at the bottom. That's what's wrong. Um. Uh, where's the other? Oh, so this shouldn't be. Dang it, I thought I had it then. All right, cat. Bunny egg. Bunny sandwich. Bear. Bear egg. Egg. Bunny, and that should be a sandwich at the bottom. Sandwich. Oh, then we run into the same problem. Dang it. Cat. Bear. Alright, look. Cat. Bunny egg. Bunny sandwich. Bear. Bear egg. Egg. Bunny. That's not a sandwich at the bottom. Alright, so we're running into the same problem. Um, hmm, cat sandwich. Let me see. Where's my other cat? Oh, dang it, I thought I had it. Cat, bunny egg, bunny sandwich, bear, bear egg, egg. But then that's not a sandwich. Okay, I'm clearly messing this up. Clearly I'm messing this up. Hmm. Cat, bunny egg, 
money sandwich. Eh? All right, it's 9.35. I will take, I will take hints if y'all have them. Because, huh? Cat, bunny egg, bunny sandwich, bear, bear egg, egg, bunny sandwich. Oh, I'm missing this, aren't I? Sandwich bear. You think bear egg is top right? Hmm. Doesn't bear egg have to be here? The bottom right and bottom middle need to be bears. Bottom right and bottom middle. So that has to be bear egg. Nancy Drew, bento chef extraordinaire. Job. Here you I go, didn't even Nancy. have time to figure out how I got that right. I didn't have time to work that out. All right. Would you like a phone charm? Didn't she just I'll give us one? We can't re-gift them. Okay, see ya. All right. Hang on. All right. I'm having fun, but I gotta pee real quick. I will be back in one second the bathroom is right here i'll be fine all right i'm back hands are washed and we're talking about everyone's star signs i love that i accidentally tripped on goose on my way out of here i don't know if y'all heard that i didn't realize goose was right behind me laying like right here tripped over him that was fun but we're good <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all really got to make me unlock this every time. All right. Let's go. I've already told y'all I've got an insane... I've got too many cancer placements on my birth chart. Too many. I'm real sad. Blue, purple. All right, I'm going to take a picture of this. Do, do, do. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? chair is, is um, getting caught on my gamer mat. I had the vision. I... I'm sorry. Some people just have what it takes. <laughs> Some people just have what it takes. You know? And I'm one of them. <laughs> Alright. Anyways. Oh, Ragnarok, that is such a gamer. That is such a gamer. A Radio Rebel moment. I will do it right now. All right. <laughs> when you solve the puzzle in one second? <laughs> that is very appropriate. Thank you, Ragnarok. I was just, that was just a placeholder. <laughs> that was just a placeholder until I had time to look at my phone. Okay. Tiaras? Oh, okay. I was about to say, those aren't tiaras. Um. Only one? Okay, no. We're following the exact opposite of Chanel's rules. <laughs> Madison, thank you for the clip. The epic gamer moment. Oh no! Thank you, Ragnarok. Thank you for telling me. I was too hyped by my, by my epic gamer moment. Don't worry, y'all didn't miss much. Y'all just missed this fashion disaster I'm creating. Oh, that's the wrong screen. That's the wrong screen. 
There we go. There we go. We're back. <laughs> Sorry, I was too caught up in my own gamer perfection. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> iTunes really wants to update, but guess what? It's not getting it. Why are there still iTunes updates in 2023? <laughs> not the jump scare. I just put every accessory I could possibly put on. I don't know what y'all think you missed. It was just a logical conclusion to what we were already doing. Yeah. That feels right. Done. <laughs> Done. Okay. <laughs> View. Send. To Oh, do I have to put these? Hang on. Hang on. Five, two, three. Five, two, three, five, five, five. Y'all can't be serious with this. Eight, seven, three, three. She loves it. She loves it. And then let's just have some in the back burner. Let's have a little, little witch, little witch. Ooh, I don't know if Carson's a phone contact in this game. That's a good question. That's a very valid question. Oh, we can change it. Oh, I can change the skin tone. I thought this, honestly, I had no faith in this game. I thought the skin tones auto filled to white. I had no faith in this game. I didn't think there was a skin tone option. All right, don't mind me, me being problematic. My God, Ashley, what are you doing? <laughs> I just said it with a blank skin tone. Also the music very jarringly disappeared. What am I supposed to do about that? It doesn't appear that I can take the headgear off. So, <laughs> kind of, um, the, the disappearance of the music feels ominous. That feels like a choice. All right. Hello? Way to make a style and avatar. Phone fashion software is here to keep your whole contact list looking fashionably fly. See you on the runway. All right, we tried, we tried our best. Oh wait, I don't think I meant to go back there. Oh, maybe I did. We'll see what's up. We'll talk to her. Hello. All right, you're really hitting that accent on that one. Um. I really like your apartment. You do? Thanks. It's just a 1K. That's code around here for tiny and overpriced, but the location is great and it's mine. I love it. When did you move out of the Ryokan? The I mean, $1,000? $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, Best decision I've ever made. No late night room service. $1,000 no in downtown, downtown Tokyo? At four in the morning. I adore that apartment. I guess I don't know what rent is in Tokyo, but that seems fine. Knows. I'm going to get it something nice today. A new doormat or something. Hmm... I should go. I'll talk to you later. Peace out, Nancy Drew. Peace out. Yeah, the... Can't check that off yet. All right, let's call George and see if she has the code word yet. This isn't the time to use my phone. Well, come on. This isn't the time to use my phone. Why not? Why not? Why not? Anyways, fine. We'll go back to our room to do the call. I mean, I guess adjust for inflation, but I don't know. I, I mean, I don't. Delivery for you. Here. Ooh. Thanks. I mean, apartments in Japan or in Tokyo specifically are, from I what I go. from I'll what I know, you later. generally later. small. Is that bad? It, it doesn't seem that bad. It, I guess it depends on the location. 
how like downtown she is. Wow, George wasn't kidding. Ooh, this okay, we're doing this hard. next stream. We're not doing this right now. We are absolutely not doing this right now. No, 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 no. Okay. Um. What else? There was something else I wanted. To do. There's something else I wanted to do with my time and existence. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. Oh, we wanted to ask about the cast. That's what I was forgetting. Yeah, we're saving that for next stream. We're gonna do that at the beginning when I have the mental fortitude to do so. We're not doing that right now. Nancy, how's it going? Did you get the avatar I sent you, Bess? You're not using it. it. How come you're not using it? I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, fine. I'll call her cousin, George. Nancy, what's up? <coughs> I keep having to cough. I could really use a hint. Um. Oh, never mind. Anything else? <laughs> I'll let you go. Bess, why Talk are you later. here? I called your cousin. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I got a text. Love it. All right. I think we might be done for the night. Because we've got the Sudoku to do. I'm not Can't in the mental headspace to do the Sudoku just yet. I think we should probably end it there. I think we made decent progress. I like the phone charms. Honestly, Americans should get on the phone charm game. All right, let's save my game. All right, exit out. Woo! This was a big stream. We made we made money moves. We had a good time. I had a good time, at least. I guess I shouldn't say we. So we'll definitely be continuing this next week for some more spooky vibes but since i won't see y'all till next week have a good weekend have a good rest of your evening drink water take care of yourselves i'll update my itunes <laughs> by the next time y'all are watching all right have a good night folks bye